Hello. Uh, I'm covering this uh, because uh, Oshin and I, uh, in my music class, we used to love Humble Johnson. So I thought I'd cover this. So. Oh, oh shit! God damn right! Oh! That's my shit right there! That's the ticket! Give me the ticket! Give it to me, baby! You know it! I'm too emotional. Good luck to my future wives and the future lives without me. You guys will do great. And I'm sure that I've prepared you for every guy you'll date. And every guy you'll marry. And every guy you'll hate. See, it's the lullabies. I sang out a tune. That's probably what did it. My twin size mattress that I had since I was seven that we have to sleep on whenever she spends the night and if she falls off again she'll find another guy to like you see we're Romeo and Juliet Romeo and Juliet getting drunk and eating Percocets but just to the ease the stress, stress it was soft what like the under window breaks but is the east but Juliet just puked off, off the balcony, balcony. how romantic Nothing like getting drunk and getting manic on a motherfucking Monday! I, I brush the bangs behind her lovely little ear as she describes in detail how the end is truly near. Well, and we can do this for her forever or until she drinks the poison because she sees some cloudy weather. As Rosaline lies in bed, seething wide awake because a burning love for Juliet only took a day. And if Romeo and Juliet continue to be married, then there's half of a chance that their kids will get embarrassed. And when all the kids at school will be talking about their parents, and Romeo Jr. has to say they're not together. And Jr. will dream of the day that when he's a man, and what he'll do to avoid that 50% chance of his kids feeling the way he feels. He'll probably just stick with the Netflix and chill. Dear Shakespeare. Could we write a happy ending, please? Could you write a happy ending, please? We all deserve our own little happy endings, please. Please. And every sting from every teardrop, like every ring and every pawn shop. And I'm not missing both my Christmases. The family would be nice. But in my dreams, my kids are happy, and I know that they won't mind. One Christmas. Just one Christmas! Just one Christmas! Just one Christmas! And dear Mom, conversations from the couch have never felt the same. Since you looked Dad in the eye and you told him that things are about to change, my mom was made from Adam's rib. And the marriage went south. When the snake came back and asked my mother out to dinner, and my dad found out and asked my mom what that's about, and she said, oh, it's nothing. But dad loves to shout really loud. Loud enough to knock the lamps and dressers to the ground, and in my memory, I can hear Chopin's nocturnes playing in the background. A slow train wreck, you close your eyes, but forever hear the sound. And boy, that's tough, because that's the sound of people falling out of love. <laughs>